so I unlocked Tainted Cane yesterday, and this character's sort of uh, perk or ability it has is the ability to craft items using pickups and consumables. Uh, whenever Tainted Cane tries to pick up an item, it actually turns into a bunch of random uh, pickups that you can then use to craft items. Some of you might know Skyblock from Minecraft, which is sort of like a mini game or a survival based map where you're get you're placed on an island with very few resources and not really anything else and you're supposed to build a society and um like survive with only those resources and just see how good you can get. So this is where the inspiration came in. If you use Quake Grimaces and then um you mod the game to make it shockwaves have a chance of turning into an item and the item will turn into a bunch of pickups you can use those pickups to make an actual item that like is usable for tainted cane so you could kind of make some sort of skyblock type mini game out of that but that wouldn't that would be pretty boring so i spiced it up a little bit One of the ways I spiced it up was by adding a bunch of different islands out of different abilities and uses. You can actually get to these islands by using poop, which normally would spawn just a normal poop. But I modded it so it turns into rocks immediately when you place it down. So you can use bombs, which you can get from the pickups that get from items. And you'll be able to bomb them and then make a bridge to the other islands. There's also a claw machine which you could use to get additional items, but I don't use it that often because it costs 5 coins. Now here on Island 2, we have 3 shop items. You have the 2 hearts, which uh, are pretty self-explanatory, they heal you. And then we have an item in the middle, which if you pick up shop items, those also explode into a bunch of different pickups, which you can use um, for more items, which is very useful. interesting one um it doesn't really have anything that works automatically i kind of just have to spawn in what it requires but basically it puts an enemy on the left side and then you are on the right side and you can fight the enemy from where you are by shooting at it and once you kill it you can go through the teleporter and collect what it drops And here I got a Ouija board, which is a really good item, and it kind of proves how good Bag of Crafting really is. Also, the reason why the uh, Quake Grimace also spawns in batteries is because it's, the batteries are used to recharge the poop. I actually did not expect to get the item from the claw machine, I was just fooling around with it to see, like, you know, if I could get something, and I actually did, which is really good for the amount of pickups I'm gonna get from this. Now here's a demonstration of me fighting something on Island 3, which we unlocked way back a while ago. I'm gonna be fighting Greed, and Greed, when you kill it, will actually drop coins, which is super useful because that can buy shop items and whatnot.
now it's time to advance on to the two other sort of mini islands. They're both crawl spaces and they're little secrets that you'll find out once I get to them. Onto the first of our two secret rooms, we have the extra shop, which has devil deals and uh, some normal shop items, which uh, are really good, actually. We also have some fool's gold for just that little bit of extra money. for our second secret room is a edited crawl space which is full of devil deals and they're all items so it's just like item galore down here it's awesome Now it's time to gear up because we're going to have a boss battle at the end of this. Skyblock video. If you want to see more of this, uh, let me know. I might revise it and make another video on it.